what the narcissist fears most. What they see as their greatest threat of danger or harm. Before you watch the rest of this video, I would like you to take a moment and type what you think is the narcissist's greatest fear in the comments below. If you guess that the narcissist's greatest fear is being exposed, you guessed right. They fear people seeing them as they actually are. As bad people. As people who are narcissistic. Because they fear rejection. They fear being dismissed. They fear being treated as unworthy of serious consideration. They fear that people will see through the illusion and realize that it isn't real. Which is why they can often seem so defensive and passive aggressive. They're trying to defend the illusion. They are indirectly resistant to the demands of other people. They are avoidant of direct confrontation. Because that is the only way that they can maintain the illusion. And they need to maintain it. Because it serves them. It gives them fuel. They strategically position themselves in a way where they cannot be manipulated in the same way that they manipulate you. They control you. But they position themselves in a way where they cannot be controlled using the same methods that they use to control you. Whatever they are criticizing you for, they will do everything in their power to not be that. To not be associated or identified with whatever it is that they are criticizing you for. If they're saying that you're not good at something, whether it's cleaning, cooking, or something else, they will go out of their way to portray this image that they are good at that. They will portray this image that they are efficient and capable of doing something that they are criticizing you for. I'm sure you can remember many things that they have criticized you for. And I'm sure you will notice that whatever they want to be good about them will always be something they criticize you for. It will always be something they say is bad about you. They use their perceived deficiencies of you to make them look like they're superior to you. To make them look like they're better than you. But why would they even feel compelled to demonstrate that they are better than you? Unless they felt like they were beneath you. Their desire for superiority comes from a place of inferiority. They secretly feel like you're better than them. But then this is clearly evident in their behaviours. They just don't realise it. They don't realise that this is what they're communicating. They are dependent on you. Their self-esteem depends on what they can get you to believe. 
so that they can then feel a certain way about themselves. Their entire image is dependent on what they can get you to believe, which means that it isn't even real. It's an illusion. It's a false self. And once you take away your belief, it all falls apart. Because their image is dependent on what they can get you to believe. Whatever you reflect back to them. Which is what they then reflect back to you. Which means that it is your reflection that sustains the illusion. So even if they do manage to manipulate you, you're actually just admiring a reflection of yourself. There is no way to give your attention or admiration directly to a narcissist. It's only ever going to be a reflection of yourself. Because it's a false image. It isn't real. And that's why no matter how much you give to them, it's never enough. They can never be satisfied. They always want more. They feed off your reactions. Because it is your reaction that sustains the illusion. That's what gives it power. You are fueling something that doesn't even exist. But you make it real. Which is why they are so dependent on you. They have this desire to be something or to feel a certain way, but they can never make a reality of it because they have no identity. They have nothing of any value or significance to actually communicate to you. They lack confidence. They have no values or principles. But they have this childlike desire to be something and this is what they transfer onto you by manipulating or abusing you and pulling you into their realm so that you can then reflect it back to them and then they can feel a certain way about themselves they can feel like they're somebody they're heavily dependent on you because they wouldn't be able to feel that way on their own they wouldn't be able to generate those emotions from within because they lack the central, most important part of being a person. They have no core identity or values. There's nothing that is central to their existence or character. This is what the narcissist fears most. They fear being exposed. They fear being rejected or dismissed. They fear being treated as unworthy of serious consideration. They fear that people will see through the illusion and realize that it isn't real. They fear this so much that they will often try to turn your character inside out. The first thing they go for is your self-esteem. They want you to lose confidence in your qualities and abilities. They want to devalue and degrade you. They want to discredit you. And then they will even assassinate your character. They will smear your name and try to get everyone to see you in the same way. They try to destroy everything in you that they don't have, everything that they are envious and jealous of. They have black and white thinking. They see it as though something is either good or bad, right or wrong, real or fake. So if they can make you out to be a fraud, they believe that must make them real. Which is why when they think you're onto them, the first thing they're going to do is try to destroy your character. They will provoke you to react to them. 
They will try to entice you. They will try to turn you into something you're not. Because they believe that will minimize the risk of their exposure. They believe that will prevent people from uncovering something damaging about them. Whatever a narcissist is trying to take away from you. It's always going to be something that they don't have. Or something that they're insecure about. These people abandoned who they really are a long time ago. Because they couldn't hack it in life. They lacked the qualities needed to do a task or cope with a situation. They traded their legs for a wheelchair. And now they expect you to push them around. They are dependent on you for attention, admiration and validation. They need you to sustain the illusion that they are real, normal, healthy people. When the reality is that they are not. These are damaged people. Who can only elevate themselves at your expense. They have to step on you to get ahead. They have to destroy you. To build themselves. They cannot generate anything from within. Because they lack the central most important part of being a person. They have no core identity or values. Which means that they're not really a person at all. They can only sustain the illusion of being a person through your reactions. Which is why they are so dependent on your reactions. Because if you don't give them any attention. They will quickly die out. It would feel like life or death to them. Which is why as soon as they feel like you're onto them, they will pull out all the stops. They will do whatever it takes to capture your attention. They will smear your name and try to get everyone to think there's something wrong with you. Because deep down they know exactly what they are. They know that they cannot generate anything from within. And it scares them. They don't want anyone to know about it. Because they know there's no future in something that started out as a game. So they just carry on with the illusion. They go from one person to the next. Whoever buys into it. Whoever fuels it with their belief. But deep down they know that it isn't real. They're lying to themselves. Which is why all they can do is manipulate you. The best you will ever get from them is an illusion. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.